All right. Now, I want to ask you guys, Lordy, and particularly to you, Ross, and, and Carrie, you feel free to jump in as well. It, one of the things that I've really noticed with the new rules is we've gone back to the future again. Roll the videotape and let's go back to the days when Len Thompson was putting it out in front of Peter McKenna in the forward pocket in the Collingwood Victoria the Park Social Club stand. Look at this. Ever. Out on the lead, running hard. Up goes Peter Hudson yeah. in the 1971 grand Small final against St Kilda. Tony Lockett, kicked 10. Tony Lockett kicking 10 the against the Pies. Out in front, leading to space. And again, the greatest of four forwards that we've seen here going all the way through the great names. Jason Dunstall coming out. And then Matthew Lloyd showing that he didn't have to go back to black and white TV to see it. But Lloyd, the key that I'm trying to get to is there is a skill to a full forward being able to lead to space, to lead to where a player's eyes look up and you're there that we haven't seen because of zoning in the last few years. Now we're seeing it. Yeah, we've seen in previous years, the last 10 years, Tom Boyd got drafted, struggled with the game. Johnny Patton struggled, uh, Paddy McCartan at times. So the game hasn't suited some of those no. players, Ross. Well, let's be honest. Well, what's the gift? Space is back. Yeah. So we're going to see some vision. The, the, the vision you showed then could have been a part of round two. Yeah. Here it is. Ford's leading up. Why can they lead? Because the fold back, the player's dropping back into the key forward space. Here's the quick ball movement. That would have been slowed down. Those three Essendon players would have been in front of Charlie Dixon. So here it is here, the quick run, can't hold them up. Defenders can't get back. And you've got one-on-one -on -one hit ups in the space and through the corridor, not wide. So and why are we getting so credit. many more goals? We're kicking from inside 45 yeah. degrees all the time too. Well, inside the corridor and across the competition, it's an extra two goals a game happening. So, yeah, the, the trend's your friend. It's really exciting for AFL football. Now, the game became a rolling mall. It's been a rolling mall all-time low, scoring has got to. And what this, this new stand rule has done, it's made guys have to defend. And we've seen who the true defenders are. Now they're not being protected by zones and men folding back. The winners for me is Howe's ability to intercept and read the play. Grimes, Darcy Moore, Steve May. The losers for this are you're not getting protected anymore. So Plowman was exposed the other night. Phil Davis, lacking a little bit of speed, has struggled a little bit. Collar Jasney got beaten by Tex Walker in round one. Uh, Ryan Gardner got exposed by the tools at West Coast and Hardigan for space. Elias started well, but the jury's out because he's got West Coast and he's also got, obviously, uh, Port Adelaide... Uh, sorry, it's a big Richmond coming up this week. I want to talk about the losers in terms of how it's gone and where their positioning is poor. In my opinion, you've got to now identify that the space is in front of you. There's Collar Jasny. The space is here. He's got to now turn and get in front. He doesn't, and he just gets led and trails into the football. You've got to have one eye on the ball player with the ball, one eye on your opponent. Here's Collar Jasny up here. I'd, I'd now be coming in and smashing Tex Walker. He gets caught watching the ball. Tex Walker drifts out the back. So you've got to be much smarter now as a defender to be able to defend one-on-one. -on -one. He couldn't do that the other night. This one's Plowman. You've got to have one eye on the, on the ball and one eye on Elliot. He takes his eye off Elliot for a split second. Elliot gets him out of the back. So, again, I've been loving watching this. This is Ryan Gardner. He drops off for a split second. Gone. He should have an arm in the chest. So there's the ones who are struggling. Now I want to show the players who are doing it the best over the first two rounds. This is Darcy Moore. Peak of his powers at the moment. Watch his positioning. He knows it's got to be long. He has an eye on Mackay, finds his body, beats him from front position. Absolutely brilliant. This positioning of Lever, he's got an arm in the chest of Fife and he knows the angle of where the ball's coming. Beats him to it. I've got two more. This one is Lever again. He leaves. Henry, who's not dangerous, comes and intercepts. Smart footballer. And the last one, Stephen May. Mate, make it a long kick, but I've got the courage to get back in front of Schultz, who isn't an opponent that's going to scare me. So that's what I've loved about the game, Ed. Players have had to think a lot more, and it's hurting some and making others even better. You never know. A key position player might even win the Brownlow this year. That might be an upset for everybody.